welcome to the daily mass from St. Mary's Parish in Barry, Ontario for Tuesday, June 16, Tuesday in the 11th week of Ordinary Time. to witness in the sacrament of life. Send us forth to love and serve you, bringing peace where there is strife. Give us, Christ, your great compassion to forgive us you forgave. May we still behold your image in the world you died to save. In today's Mass, we will remember the souls of James and Madeline McBride. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The word of the Lord came to Elijah, the Tishbite, saying, Go down to meet King Ahab of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He is now in the vineyard of Naboth, where he has gone to take possession. You shall say to him, Thus says the Lord, Have you killed and also taken possession? You shall say to him, Thus says the Lord, In the place where dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, dogs will also lick up your blood. 
Ahab said to Elijah, Have you found me, O my enemy? He answered, I have found you, because you have sold yourself to do what is evil in the sight of the Lord. I will bring disaster on you, I will consume you, and will cut off from Ahab every male, bond or free, in Israel. And I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and like the house of Baasha, son of Ahijah, because you have provoked me to anger and have caused Israel to sin. Also concerning Jezebel, the Lord said, The dogs shall eat Jezebel within the bounds of Jezreel. Anyone belonging to Ahab who dies in the city, the dogs shall eat. And any one of his who dies in the open country, the birds of the air shall eat. Indeed, there was no one like Ahab who sold himself to do what was evil in the sight of the Lord, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He acted most abominably in going after idols, as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the Israelites. When Ahab heard those words, he tore his clothes and put sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, lay in the sackcloth, and went about dejectedly. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite. Have you seen how Ahab has humbled himself before me? Because he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the disaster in his days, but in his son's days, I will bring the disaster on his house. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Be, Be merciful, merciful, O Lord, for, for we, we have, have sinned. sinned. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard what it was said. You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, 
Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Following yesterday's first reading, we heard Naboth, who owned the vineyard that Ahab wanted. Naboth died and was killed by King Ahab. Now the Lord intervened through prophet Elijah, who hid from King Ahab because he also wanted to kill Elijah. Elijah declared to Ahab, because of the evil he has done, that God will bring disaster and consume Ahab. The, do the dogs will lick up his blood like that of, like that, that of Naboth, and God will cut off from Ahab every male in Israel. And Ahab, listening to Elijah, he was scared, and it changed him. He humbled himself before the Lord. He tore his clothes, and he fasted. So God was merciful to Ahab. He pitied Ahab and did not bring disaster to him and to his house at that time. God's love. His mercy and compassion towards Ahab is what the Lord wants us to imitate. God's love towards Ahab is something that we can use or we can practice to fulfill what Jesus said to us in the Gospel today. Love your enemy. When we think of an enemy, the enemy here is not necessarily the person who's fighting with us. Otherwise, our human nature seems to always hate those people who wrong us. As we know, anything bad is always opposed to good. And that badness is the enemy of goodness. And if we are not loving those who embrace the badness of life, our goodness will disappear and we will be influenced by the bad. On the other hand, if we learn to love and choose to love those who embrace the badness of life, our goodness will affect them. Our goodness will affect them in such a way that it will effect change on them. The reading today invites us to examine our sin with regards to the lack of love we have towards our enemies. And we are invited to think in a Christ-like way our relationship with our enemies.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. For the mystery is right on the confession of the divinity of Christ. Open the confession of the divinity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. In the full spirit and contrite heart, we accept it, O Lord, my sacrifice for yourself. This day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me and make me new. Wash me clean and make me new. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, Grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the peace. sins of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grant us vision, gracious spirit, to seek guests to share that feast. Where triumphant love will welcome those who had been last and least. There no more.